Hi Pisces, this is your week ahead reading. Um, Oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your constant support of the channel as we grow. I'm so proud of us and thank you so much for helping that happen. And for those of you who are just discovering the channel, well, this is Born Without Boundaries and it's our my mission to sort of journey into finding how to set healthy boundaries, how to live the healthiest, most beautiful life that I could possibly live, and also to help other people do the same for themselves so um thank you for finding me i'm very glad you did it, for those of you who are on platforms that allow for a commercial break there will be one in a couple of seconds so that there will, won't have to be any more throughout the message so let's get it done over uh, let's get it over with in the beginning and then there will be no further interruptions i'll see you after the commercial now, for those of you that just sat through an awkward pause, thank you so much for doing that. For those of you who sat, actually th sat through a commercial or a couple of seconds of one if you skipped it, um, thank you because that's actually a contribution to the channel whether you knew it or not. That was a contribution to the channel and I really appreciate it. So um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do click subscribe below and let's get into your Oracle card reading. Remember, over here on YouTube, we do the or I do the Oracle card reading. Now, the Oracle card reading will pick up general energies for you Pisceans for this week, October 22nd to the 29th is what I'm doing the reading for. Um, but over on Vimeo, and you'll see in the description box, please give that a look. Uh, the link is below, and that will be a full tarot card spread as well as a romance reading. So let's get into your Oracle card reading for October 22nd to the 29th for the sign of Pisces, Pisces, sun, moon, rising sign, or if you guys know how to apply it to, it, those aren't worth your cards. They're just, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a little too much and too crazy. So we're gonna, we're gonna start again for Pisces, so. Pisces, just so that you know, um, it's sun, moon, and rising sign, of course. But if you know how to apply these readings to other positions in your chart, your Venus sign, uh, try to understand your Jupiter sign, how, how it may be affected this week, please do. Please apply it. You can also go ahead and look at on the, any of the other videos. There's a, a ton of them. I do one every week. So if those help you out, because yes, I will always, I will always tell you when I recorded them and I always timestamp them. Um, but honestly, Pisces, um, whenever you see a message is when you were meant to and when it applies to your life. So there's a lot of good material that you may want to check out. Um, Actually, I did so many beautiful Pisces, Pisces readings. So many beautiful ones. I, I do hope you check them out. Um, that will be in the playlist called uh, Weekly Zodiac Readings. This is your crowning energy. So you're busy at work collaborating and, and putting something together. I think it's something that's very important to you and something that you prioritize a great deal. You're trying to put together the right team, find the right people to help you put together this uh, enterprise this project um, um, it's a labor of love I think but also you're finding people to interact with you're you're sort of sort of it's almost like you're back in the race after you were out of it for a while you're maybe dating more Pisces um, or definitely um, uh, taking lead in terms of taking lead in terms of your relationships with others and how you interact with them or how much you interact with them or how much um, how far these interactions are going to go you're putting more time and effort and energy into meeting new people or to reaching out to those people in your life that you may have let ties slip with yeah Make your dreams real. See, this is the energy I was picking up for you when I first saw this card. This is definitely you being the spell. The, the, this is the caster of spells, the weaver of spells. This is you manifesting into reality, like taking those parts that were inside and make manifesting them into reality. So 
it's during this week that you may actually start to see some progress being made, some 3D real world progress starting to happen with whatever business or project you were trying to build or relationship you were trying to build. Pisces, you're gonna actually start to see in certain lights, like you see a spider web, you'll start to see it manifest in those really subtle ways and you'll feel good about it. There's a feeling of joy and a feeling of pride in you this week because you're starting to see what you've put your mind to is coming to fruition and maybe it took a while but I don't think but but because it's a passion project something that you really care about it doesn't have to be art or anything it could it could be a, whatever you really care about um I I feel like it was it, it it will it will make you very very proud um it will make you very very proud I just heard that a, a line from I just heard a ring um I just heard that line from um walking in a spider web leave a message and I'll call you back from no doubt that song I feel like you had to pull a lot of strings and it was like walking in a spider web to get this stuff to work it almost felt like if you were dating it, you you were trying to like avoid the actual spider and getting eaten alive and being somebody's dinner instead of somebody's date again you know it felt like that for a while it also felt like you were in a very like competitive field so it felt like everywhere you stepped, you had to be very, very careful about how, what, who you spoke to, how you talked, who you shared your ideas with. So there is a sense of this being of something that's being very competitive for you, something that you are being, um, something that um, um, is is not the easiest thing to manifest. You know, it's not straightforward. No, it's not shady or down low, but it is something that's very competitive and that there could have been a lot of pitfalls along the way. Um, you know, a, a lot of financial issues a lot of sacrifices that you had to make uh, maybe you had to move whatever it was there was a lot of pitfalls that could have gotten in your way but you just kept going and it was walking you had to be very clever in other words Pisces to really get through um, and work with these people to not rattle any wrong strings where you would you know attract that spider who would come and feast on you um, yeah shit maybe some of you this week still feel like you're walking in this spider web but i do feel like there is a is a, a level of finesse that you have that you're starting to see and understand how to work things how to sort of maneuver things and yeah maybe even manipulate things because it almost is like maybe the spider thinks it's their web, but you're the, you're the one actually weaving the web. You're the one actually casting it. These are your dreams that you're making into reality. Maybe you yourself are the spider, you know, and, and, and maybe that you were, maybe you sort of realize your role in why things were so complicated, or maybe you were complicating things more than they had to. But no, I also do honestly feel like there was this outside influence. Think on your feet. Oh, this energy is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, you definitely had to improvise a lot. You definitely had to like, see Fox is, if Fox is the only energy that's clever enough to outwit Spider because, and, and Fox is playful and has fun and it, he doesn't think past the next second. So he just, Fox is so very good. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius Pisces. Um, Fox is so good at just, really living in the moment and not thinking too far in the future. And so he doesn't really even necessarily thought of thinking about getting caught in the spider web as just much, as much as, um, having fun and enjoying and almost like he treated, he having the behavior or the attitude of, of treating this spider web as if it was a toy, as if it was a game or an obstacle course. And so you actually, or somebody in your life started to enjoy the process of what you thought was challenging or you thought traps were being set. They either you took on the mentality of this fun energy of just seeing it not as a trap anymore, just seeing it as something to enjoy and have fun with and that's how you got through it or there is somebody who um i don't know there's this 
this this person or this character in your life that would won't go away and they won't go away and no, no matter how much you almost try to like like catch them out or or maybe even like tie them up not necessarily to tie them down but almost to like get rid of them they just they're so good at outwitting you they're so good at being one step ahead of you that you can't apply your normal energies or your normal practices to them this is an interesting energy these two these two are a good a good match let it shine pisces you may actually be dealing with a scorpio as well i feel like this is shining a light on actually seeing the truth or realizing something about somebody that you didn't realize before of seeing them for who they really are and almost accepting them for who they really are but sort of holding them accountable for who they are or what they've done or how they've behaved um if you can't catch them with your web then maybe you you'll catch them with the spotlight you'll you'll be able to shine some light on their behavior or maybe the manipulation that they've been engaging in to try to trap you Ooh, that's interesting as well mm, but something that was dark co-create with spirit Something that was dark or hidden is coming to light this week, Pisces. Um, you are definitely driven by an inspiration. And this is what I felt at the top of the reading. And that's where your primary focus is. It's not in this other shit that's going on. It's, 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 and, and maybe that's why there's a little bit of irritation in dealing with this fox person because they're they you you don't want them to keep tripping you up and there's this potential of them sort of just like having so much fun but it's not necessarily fun for you this is something that you take very very seriously like you are in tune with spirit and literally weaving their web based on what that intuitive voice or that guiding voice is telling you to do so it's not necessarily something that you playing at and i feel like that playfulness um, is almost irritating you in a certain way unless the playfulness is what you've embodied or that attitude that you've taken on in order to find your way through this web and avoid somebody else's manipulations and you're listening to spirit and you're letting spirit guide you because spirit is the only thing that could help get you through this and you're just sort of really holding on to spirit this week and listening to their voice and letting it lead you through this maze that could be filled with pitfalls and you're just letting it letting it letting it like letting that that, that spirit be your eyesight and shed throw light into a murky situation now there's a lot of co-creating with spirit here it's almost like spirit is speaking through you this week, if that makes any sense to you, Pisces. Now, this could have to do with a project that you're working on. It's almost like you feel so connected that you're channeling the energies. It's almost like it's almost like maybe if you had writers, for example, if you had writer's block, you don't have it anymore. It's so free flowing what's coming out of you. You feel like it's just spirit working right through you and you're just letting it flow. And that also speaks to the spider spirit, which is writer. Remember Charlotte's Webb? She used to write those those messages um, to protect Wilbur. <laughs> um, but that's what it is. It's like it's like. Like maybe you had writer's block or, you know, creator's block and now you're unstuck and you're, it's almost like spirit is like literally you just like divine inspiration this week, Pisces, and you can just get it done and churn it out. Something that is particularly important to you, something that you're trying to build with other people. It will become a bigger project. There will be something more coming out of this, but you had to get this ground laid and you were having trouble. And now it's almost like the divine has intervened and foosh, it's just flooding out of you this week. Um, oh, that feels good. Let's see what else they got for you, Pisces. I almost feel like there's also you seeing spirit for the very first time, like you noticing for the very first time that spirit has got your back or you noticing how connected you are to the spirit world. It could actually be you like literally seeing, not seeing ghosts, but like, yeah, almost like 
That veil is going to be very thin as we enter um, Scorpio season. And being a fellow water sign Pisces that can feel a lot, that has a, a strong connection with intuition, there could be things that you experience this week that you maybe haven't experienced for a long time or um, maybe you've never experienced before. Let spirit be your guide. Co-create with two of these cards are coming up. Co-create with spirit and let spirit be your guide. And they're all looking into the future. And then freedom is yours. Okay. Pisces, hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around so I can go over the cards with you. So this is tripping in. This is you tripping in the divine mystery this week. Even though that card didn't hit the table, like that's what it is. Because you are literally the weaver of spells this week. I was going to call you Scorpio. I just feel like there, see this is this very Scorpionic card in the center and so is Raven bringing light in, out of the dark. And I feel like that's, that's what's happening through you. Not necessarily happening to you, but it's happening through you. If you have a Scorpio in your life, it could very well be a Scorpio is having a huge impact on who you are, how you see the world, how you write what you write, how you lay down the words, how you speak what you speak. This is about you sharing your voice with the world and about you sharing, but it's like spirit has divined this to you. If this is coming from the underworld, this is coming from something maybe rising out of the dead. Maybe you felt like this inspiration was gone. Maybe you felt like this opportunity was lost, but this is literally something coming, rising out of the dead or rising out of that Hades world, that scorpionic world and coming out and like coming through you and you bringing it back to life. There is definitely, do you see like this this step-by-step -step process of, of this conceptualization here and then playing with it and, and improvising and, and having fun but not giving up, just being a master improvisationist to get around all those obstacles. And then, then you go from the underworld out into the light and now this is the higher perspective. This is the overview. It's like, it, it's, this is like Holy Trinity over here of spirit connecting with you. Of It's rising out of the dark it's coming out of the dark out of you it, I, I don't know oh I wish I had the words to really say this freedom is yours something that that's what it is something that you have not been able to see or speak or put into words feelings that you've had that you haven't been able to articulate ideas that you've had that you have not been able to manifest it is literally flowing out of you this week you will be able to not only manifest it but be able to share it to a point where people will see it and oh finally you've been able to get it out and get control over this situation Pisces and really be able to set yourself free from whatever it was that was sort of tangling you up or tying you down or making you jump through hoops instead of being able to make progress you kept working on it but I feel like there was a stall like you almost felt like you wouldn't get it or you wouldn't be able to figure it out, figure out how to put the pieces together. Well, the pieces have come together this week, Pisces, and this week, like you'll have your fully, fully publishable book or your manuscript written or your piece of artwork created. Like this will be that week that you'll be able to finally put all the pieces together in the right order, in the right places, that your thoughts won't be jumbled. You won't be as distracted this week. You'll literally be able to just conduct all that spiritual energy out through you. It's coming through you. That's why I felt like maybe there's a Scorpio at play too, influencing you because it's coming from the out the darker world. It's coming not this is not bad, not negative, but it's coming from the land of dreams. You know, the land of like a dark, a darker place, a, a um, an undefined place, and that's why I said it's a it's an idea, it's a concept. It's, um, it's inspiration and it's coming into the light and you're the conduit for it. It's, it's pushing through you. I want to go a further into this Pisces to see what's, what the details about what's at play. Um, follow the link below over to Vimeo and we'll do the full, we'll pull the full tarot card spread as well as your romance reading over there. All right, Pisces, I'll see you there.